आई हैव ऑलवेज नोन कि मैं दुनिया की सबसे कमाल एक्ट्रेस नहीं हूँ चलेगा बट मैं दुनिया की सबसे हार्ड वर्किंग एक्ट्रेस होनी चाहिए एक्टर्स आर एक्चुअली वाइल्ड एनिमल्स ओके they are wild in the animals. nicest okay. possible way the, and they share me they share me so to, to capture yeah okay <laughs> listen at least i didn't say actors are cat, <laughs> are cattle <laughs> things i should give a damn about at this stage at least um settling down i don't give a damn about <laughs> i am someone who loves my voice i will never be silent if i need to speak big day for me but i don't do star struck so i'm going to keep it together but truth is for 30 years now she has literally cast a spell on all of us and i just want to say that over the past few years particularly it's been such a joy to see shushmita sen really get to sink her teeth into characters like arya on disney plus hotstar so join me in welcoming on stage and to film companions front row for the first time ever ladies and gentlemen shushmita sen this is going to be oh wow hi 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 what a lovely introduction sorry we're trying to mic ourselves hello people how are you let me put on record that she is one of the warmest givers of hugs always yes always and that also does bring me to my first question in my 10 year long career mm. as a film journalist i have always maintained that there are literally just two people mm. that can enter a room and command it from the word go and i would say that is shahrukh khan and shushmita sen that's a huge compliment given that um i know for a fact shahrukh does that he does he does and so do you and i really just want to understand what is the secret sauce because it cannot be easy to always be able to make everyone around you feel so special all the time how do you do it does it ever get exhausting um actually that's a very beautiful question and put like that it gets even more beautiful um i became famous because i wanted people it's not because i wanted awards i wanted money i wanted fame i wanted fame because i wanted people um and when god gave me that and gave it in such abundance i have looked at it every single moment does it get tiring yes it does at times but that thought kicks in that this is what you've always wanted and you've had it for i'm 48 years old and i have been famous longer than i have not been so for me this has been one of those ways of returning that gratitude of saying thank you and for having it in all actions of my life not just one like in all aspects the hug being a very important one i i wish that she can hug all of you all here because it really is a very special hug it's an open offer <laughs> <laughs> you know shashmita i was going through the ormax report yeah. of the most watched ott series in 2023 and i even have it up on a graphic i list. so want to dance to this i know i know this is amazing this is amazing she is literally the only actor that has not just one but two shows up in the top 10 which might i tell you yeah. gives you a cumulative watch time of 35 million people watching her in 2023 alone oof and that also makes you the most watched indian female actor in 2023 oh my god oh my god sneha i never thought of it like that I never thought Break of it like that. Break that down for me. 2023 was actually a very cathartic year. It was a year when I had you know because Arya came to me like a manifestation. I've always said this. Like it's I waited and waited and waited and kept saying no and no and God knows it 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 hurts uh for a jobless actor to say no. You know, and I said no multiple times. because i was waiting for the one and the one happened at the one at bkc when i walked in 
to this building and met Mr. Ram Matani. I had manifested this human being, this director, his vision, and Arya. When Arya happened, it was a yes in five minutes. But thereafter, it was again, no, no, no. Because it was either Arya or something like Arya or this powerful woman. As an actor in my second innings, I wanted to do different things. I wanted to try and see if I could do them. Because I've always known that I'm not the most famous actress of the world. But I'm the most hardworking actress of the world. ये बहुत जरूरी है, so that whatever happens, I will put in where I don't have the talent for it, I'll put in the work. So with that thought, when Tali came, that was a yes. And the minute that happened, everyone around me, like a symphony, said, "Mat karna, mat karna. बहुत problems होंगी इसमें. Don't do it. There'll be a lot of, you know." public opinion, the transgender community, everything, this is not going to be a good thing to do. But it's the one thing I had again manifested, Sneha, because all throughout my life, I have always said this, that I'm a person I'm a very inclusive human being. I've lived my entire life with that faith. So when I was given this opportunity through Tali, to celebrate inclusiveness. I was like, I'm in. But I want to do it. And then Gauri Savant wanted me to do it. That was huge for me. That was enough acceptance for me to begin with. And then my huge round of applause to the audiences. You because guys. the way you guys have, you and millions of you have accepted Tali. 35 opens. million on last Thank count. you for the specific count. <laughs> but that's what breaking it down is, is this. And then I had victory with my health in 2023. It was a year where I really, you know, the Shirni and the Shakti we speak of when we speak of Arya, I experienced that in real life. I think it just gave me a whole new lease to life and said, Jile apni zindagi. Simran. Jile. Nay, Arya. But you know, the truth is, we are sitting on the eve of the release of part two of Arya season three only because in 2010, you did a film called No Problem and you then realized that you, in fact, had a very big problem <laughs> yes. with the kind of roles that you were getting yeah. and you decided to go away on a 10 year hiatus. Hmm only to come back and say that you want to headline a show. Yes. In hindsight, was yes. that audacious or was there something that was really driving your gut? Well, what was, uh, beautiful questions, Neha, also because I have this habit since I've been a kid where my mom would always tell me, hey, beta, you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. If you don't have that courage, it doesn't se nahi hota hai. So I said, Chalo, then I will ask. But I will go. I will not say, you know, Bhej na mujhe scripts. I went myself. I met all the heads myself. And I said, I'm Sushmita Sen. I've been in the industry a long time. Don't have too much work to show for it. But I would like to come back and be uh, a part of this OTT process. Because it's allowing uh, every character 45 minutes over seven, eight episodes to be a part of storytelling. Do you realize how much time you're investing in that relationship? It's a lot. I never knew that aspect in cinema. I got that through OTT and I wanted that through OTT and I said, I would like to do it, but only caveat. I want an author-backed uh, show, a character, and I want to headline the show. Worse, <laughs> it's nice <laughs> 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 so, uh, that was not audacious, that was asking for jo mera haq hai. And I believe that that, given that I have everything that I don't have in talent, I have in hard work and I'm ready to put that in, but this is what I want for it. Um, and in asking that, everything worked itself out and I've been very blessed, I think, that despite all failures, which people consider failures or setbacks in a career, 
I have had an audience that has believed in me, even at times when I haven't. And they've said, no, she didn't get her due. No, she did not. She wasn't given this. No. So this stood up for me when I was like, no, abhi kya? you know, this is what it is. They stood up for me. And honestly, it is because of this audience that I walked away eight years ago. I said, it's not the fault of the industry or of the other creative directors, writers, you know. It is my fault because I'm accepting it. I'm saying no. And this could be the end of a career or could be the beginning of another one. Thanks to my audience, it became the beginning of another one. Yeah. And also, being a mother myself, it sort of really hit hard when I heard you say in an interview that my children were very proud of the person that I was, but not so much of the work that I was doing. <laughs> yeah. And Renee's in the audience as well today. I want to ask you, um, did, hi, did validation from them sort <clears throat> of come in, become a factor when it came <clears throat> to the choices that you made? Did that mean having to say no as a consequence of that? Did their validation shape your decisions? No, I think what, how they impacted my life the most is, as mothers, we always say, this is right, this is don't settle for less in life, don't do it. How many big lessons do we teach our children? I think it turns around. When you are in that situation, your children look at you. What you have taught, they understand. But now what do you do? That's the example. So in that sense, both my children became a driving force for me to show them what I've always been talking about. And kid you not, that was scary because I didn't know what I was going to be doing with so much in my life, Sneha, all over the place. And I wasn't uh, just coming to learn. I had to unlearn first. Mm -hmm. That's a hard enough job and then come back to learning a new way. I have been scared of theatre. Do you guys watch theatre? Like plays and stuff? Broadway and stuff? Like live? So I've been scared of that concept my whole life. <laughs> like school maybe, I was scared of it. That live audience doesn't need. You know, cut, take, one take, okay, it will go. But this live audience, and a person like me, I'm, I'm like a sponge. Is room me con kese hil raha hai mujhe pata hai. I absorb energy. I'm very aware of that. I know which one of you is uninterested. I know which one of you is very interested. Um, I'm aware of a room. So a person like me, when I get uh, this much of an absorption of an environment, I have to be very careful of the energy that I take in and give out. So sorry, coming back to the question you were asking me was? Your children, and is it just their sort of? Uh, no, so I was trying to make a point of something else. Children, and then we spoke about what? How? Ma'am, ma theater, theater. Yes, theater. See, ha, there you are. <laughs> Everyone, in case you're wondering, the one that is directing me right now? <laughs> is my epic director, Mr. Ram Madhvani, everyone. <laughs> so I was scared of theatre because of this awareness. Ab mujhe milte hain Ram Madhvani. Aur wo mujhe kya kehte hain? Ke aap jo hai, kuch mat kijiye. There is no close-up. There is no jimmy jib. There is no trolley. There are three cameras. And they are going to follow you. You don't have to look at the camera. Acha, karna kya hai fir? Saat page ka scene hai. Ek saat shoot karna hai. <laughs> bas, bas. Matlab, aise kaise? Yahan pe to chhe log aa rahe hain, chhe log ja rahe hain, fir ek gaadi aayegi, fir usme se chabi niklegi, fir Poonam aayegi. You remember Poonam? Poonam is the housemaid and she will come and she will serve coffee. Ye real time mein kaise hoga? Wo aap hum pe chhod dijiye. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Every take of Arya is between roughly 26 to 45 minutes long. Every take. Huh? And that is why she comes across so real. Because 
everything is just around her. She's not performing. No other actor. Nobody's performing. Everyone is just in the moment. But what it does is it's a theatrical theater play. You're performing live. Thanks to him. Mm -hmm. And my daughter is about, so I was connecting this to my yeah. daughter. Renee is about to uh, take part in her first play ever. And she's going to do that in front of a live audience. <laughs> and life comes a oh, full circle. Full that is circle. true. That is true. And speaking of learning, uh, not mm. many of us can boast of going back to becoming a student in their 40s, which is again something that you've been able to do. And I had the chance of speaking to your acting coach, Atul Mungya. Oh, and yes. I just want to have you listen in oh, oh. to what he said. Oh. Hi, Sushmita. Hi. Uh, and hi, Sneha. I would like to talk about two things that I really admire about you. One, obviously, is this love that you have for everybody this universal love that you carry in your heart and it oozes out of your entire aura, your entire body, you know, it just, anybody who meets you, they feel it, they feel the love. And the other thing, which because we did a workshop together, the other thing that I really, really love about you is that how you are not just a student, a good student in a workshop or in a place where you are working, but you are a good student of life. You love learning, you love growing. And every single day, you know, I feel that you wake up with that zest to, okay, what am I looking forward to today? What am I learning today? How, how can I get, a, how can I be a better version of myself today? Just wanted to say that I'm so fortunate that I got to meet you. I'm so lucky that I got to work from you, with you. And it may seem like I was the one who was uh, the giver, but I think I have received as much, if not more from you in that entire process. I love you. Oh, no, that's you. very special. Yes. Very special. Yes. And I want to talk a little bit about how all of us mm. here can be students of life because that just sounds so incredible. I have to tell you this vibe is beautiful. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> you know, you know, seriously, you, you guys have to like take turns, sit on the stair, <laughs> feel the spotlight, this amazing vibe. It's very intimate given that it's it so many of us. Yes. Beautifully done. Sneha. The question was? Student of, of life. life. <laughs> Um, to wake up every morning wanting to be better and learn something new. And she went for an acting workshop. This was before Tali, if yes, I'm right. Yes. Yeah. What does it take to wake up after doing this for this many years and say, I want to learn how to do this? When I first started as an actor, I didn't want to be an actor. So I thought, Bhat Sahib said, Ek film kar lo, bas das tak ke baad you can leave. But ye koi nahi batata hai ki aisa hota nahi hai. <laughs> Aap ek bar industry mein aa jate hai and then time money is invested in you, there is always a time for its return. It is something that is a part of the other side of the business, which is the business. And then there is the art. I was never interested in the art, unfortunately. Because had I been interested at that age, I would have had so much time to actually learn which I had to then put into unlearn but <laughs> I became an actor with that mindset this time I chose it right this innings it has been I wanted this so I wake up every morning knowing that this is what I want it's no longer a by default process for me anymore and I have no set of people that I look at and say, Mujhe, sirf inke, inke, inke kaam karna hai. because I have learned through my 28 years in the industry that, you know, I have had at least five or six first time directors, incredibly talented. I want to work with people who bring out the best, where three months of my time, paanch mahina, chhe mahina, jo bhi aap us film ko karne mein lagate hain, you have lived your life through that process. Because life is not exclusive. It's not like, mm -hmm. film shoot ho jayegi, phir zindagi ji lenge. It's true. You're living it together. And I don't want to waste my life. So I wake up every morning knowing I'm doing what I love doing. Okay, today I did not get the job I really wanted. Maybe it'll come tomorrow. Maybe it'll come day after. But come it will. Because I'm waiting. 
So that feeling uh, is a celebration of life. And also, if you've come near death twice, you look at life differently. It becomes a very quick uh, assessment of transition. You know, one moment you're here, one moment you're not there, could be, maybe. So make the most of it, whatever it is. The people you meet, the art you create, um, the businesses you do, the relationships you have, mm -hmm. uh, all of it tantamounts to that one moment. So you make it count and then you say, I have no regrets in this one, moving on, next. Yeah, yeah. And I also saw this video of your father walking up mm. on stage to collect an honorary doctorate that yes, you have now I'm very been proud bestowed of that with. Moment. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. But it actually takes me back to a story that I heard back in the day when you were crowned Miss Universe where your dad was crushed that you didn't finish your degree because of the pageant and you told him then, Baba, don't give up on me just yet. I'll graduate life with honours. How's yes. Baba feeling now? <laughs> Very proud. He cried. He cried and I knew he would and look at how God works things out. Yeah. Of all the days, that is the day I have a viral fever and a bad throat and I can't go to receive the doctorate. And I called Baba because he's in Kolkata and I said, Daddy, will you please go receive this for me? What? Do I have to give a speech? Do I have to go up on stage? Because my father still is a very, very simple man who, like, he gets flamoxed when he, there's too many people and attention. He's a human being. He's a rock-solid human being. And when he went up on that stage, I'm looking at my father and I'm all emotional, but my brother tells me that he came out and he continuously just kept crying. Um, because I th I've seen him do that twice. Once when I won Miss Universe. Not because it's a beauty pageant, not because his, his daughter became the most beautiful girl in the universe, but because she wore India. <laughs> and that for him as a patriot, as, as a defense person, I was everything. <laughs> and then, Personally, as a father, to finally see his daughter be educated enough to get a doctorate, <laughs> a deal it, even if honorary, I graduated in life. And he, he spoke to me after that, and he was just very, very emotional. I am so happy I was not unwell. I was, that, I yeah. was unwell that day. It's all written. It's all written. It's yeah. beautifully executed by God. That is true. That is true. The other thing that you said is that one of the best things about turning 40 is that it teaches you how to give a damn elegantly, but <laughs> give a damn you must. Yeah. Tell me, what are the things that you really, really give a damn about now? You know, give a damn is a slang also, you know that, right? So, you mean the good way or the bad In way? In a very or? good way. Oh, what do you really care about now? What, what I give a damn about, like in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> uh, I'm a loyalist and I mean that you have to, you have to understand uh, when I call you family you are my family that's how I'm built my children understand that I don't have this sense of Kuhn and Rishta or mother side, father side I have not been raised like that. I don't know that concept. But I don't make family easily. Therefore. But when I make family or friends or people that I trust, I'm a loyalist. I give a damn. <laughs> like you cannot mess with these people. It's, it's not, in a strange way, self-preservation. I protect mine and I am preserved. Like Arya. Interestingly like Arya, <laughs> exactly like Arya. Um, but Arya has three kids <laughs> and I have many. Like I genuinely believe like the whole world that returns love belongs to me in that sense. Uh, I give a damn about my beliefs very strongly. Um, and I'm not a person who takes a speaker and screams and shouts and I don't like all that in fact I don't I think when you know the truth you don't fight for it you don't fight at all it's when you you're not sure then you need to fight for it uh, so mostly I don't like to fight but I am someone who loves my voice mm -hmm. and I don't mean like the voice voice 
but like the ability to express myself. And this I give a damn about. I will never be silent if I need to speak. And um, I know the whole world thinks I should give a damn about, at this stage at least, um, settling down. I don't give a damn about. <laughs> Important to mention it only because I, I love and respect the institution of marriage. I do very much. And I've had the blessing of knowing some incredible people, including my director and my producer, <laughs> who are one of the most beautiful couples I know. But I'm a big believer of companionship, those things. And if that exists, then things can happen. But that respect in those three very, very important. And freedom, very, very important. So I give a damn about freedom. And uh, I give a damn about my work. Big time. Big, big time. My children just know, take me for granted, that this one too is not a problem. Anything to do with their lives, I give a damn about. And they know that. And both of them are trying to, at their own respective ages, tell me, you know, I'm too old. Mm -hmm. I can handle this. Mm -hmm. And the other one is saying, I'm studying abroad. I, in any case, handle things on my own. So I'm just like, you know, as a mother, you had so much work to do. Suddenly yes. you're jobless. Like, <laughs> nobody wants you. And then you go back on the set and you've always had this thing at the back of your head. Is not homework or and I need to get back and everything. Now suddenly I'm on a set and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, take your time. <laughs> so Yeah, that actually was my next question. You've been a single mother for so much of your life and yeah. suddenly we're sort of in an empty nest syndrome. Yes, yes. What does that do to your personality? How old your Are baby you now? Six. Wait for it. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Wait for it. Um, Are you discovering new sides to yourself? Does that leave you more space for, for work, for love? For What's it been like for you? Oh, thank God. My kids have been, also I have been in the relationship with them. I never have, I kind of like put myself in a situation where I've had to turn and tell them, because of you, I did not do this. Never happened. Mm -hmm. I did what I needed to do. They did Amazing. what they needed to do. And it was a very open relationship like that. But um, why are you smiling? <laughs> no, no, say now. The man mein jo hai, abhi mein, I want to know. What is it? <laughs> she had this very like, mm, that's kind of a smile. Acha. Good, anyway, good. Don't get us started. What were you, what were we talking about? <laughs> Has it helped you sort of see new facets to your personality? Does it leave you more room to... So, no, I, I do have more room, yes. yes. But I, my personality was, I was always in touch with it. Yeah. It was never compromised on, never. Um, yeah, I did have to discuss, I still do discuss some big decisions with my children. But most of the times, they're like, you've thought this through? Yeah, then do it. It's that kind of a relationship. Because what we're trying to learn is every action has an equal <laughs> consequences. You forgot the word. <laughs> every action has consequences. So if you say to me, I will take this action and I'm ready for the consequence, go for it. But if you take an action and say, Aisa reaction kyu hai? To ho jayegi. So this is where we are at. She tells me that, I tell her that. And Alisa, in any case, at age 14, has done a PhD in that. Like, she's telling us all off <laughs> about everything deep and profound. Um, now, I'm very blessed. I chose to make a life the way I have lived it and built it. And uh, this life has been, like, I used to joke about it. Now, I've stopped joking about it. But I used to joke that, Kal ko chali gai to I have no regrets. I'm just like, no, 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 no. Bhoat lambi umar hai. Ulti si di baate nikar ni chahi ko sun lega to. So, abhi sirf ye bolna hai ki bhoat lambi umar hai, bhoat kuch karna hai. And you're just so lucky that you have a foundation so strong. My mom, dad, brother, my daughters. And my some God. incredible collaborators. So, on that note, 
can we bring on stage your partner in crime and Ooh. the man behind the resurgence of Shishmita Sen, the creator, producer and co-director of Arya. <laughs> and I have to do something which I normally do with Shishmita when I meet her after ready? a long time. Sorry, I have to pick ready? up my mic. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Guys, sorry, we've got to no, do no, this. No, no, we've got to do this. Yeah, it's been a while. we do a slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this we've been practicing from season one. Yeah, yeah, and uh, as you can see, we haven't gotten any better, better at this. Exactly. But welcome, welcome, welcome to front row. Please get a seat. Since we're talking about film, I mean companionship, we are yes. here uh, with film companions. This is special from the go, the the go from the go. I actually want to take you back to that first meeting. Legend has it that it took you all of five minutes to convince her. What went down that day? <laughs> he didn't convince me. Showed himself. See, first of all, this lady is intimidating. Oh, oh, aisa hai kya? Kisne haan bola? No hugs for you. <laughs> exactly. No hugs for you. Exactly. No hug for you. You change your mind. <laughs> What, what no, went down well, that day? You're always nervous, right? Because as a director, you're saying, yeah, I don't know whether she'll say yes. And, you know, Amita is there. And Amita is saying, of course she'll say yes. And, you know, everything is going to work out. And, and I'm saying, how ha, ha, boligi. But, you know, and she says yes. And she said, what? You said yes immediately? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then I walk out to the lift after she's left. And I tell Amita, two days ke baad, pakka. She's going to say no because this is how actors are, right? They'll say yes and then they... But you know, she's changed her mind. It was so lovely meeting mm -hmm. you. You're such a nice person. Etc, etc, etc. Exactly. Uh, but she's not doing it. <laughs> and I have faced so much rejection as, as all filmmakers. Be warned, guys. Be prepared because rejection is the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very, very surprised when... And then I realized with Shushmita that when she says something directly, she means it. So okay. that's something which I've learned over time. Okay, wo, jo pe bolti hai, wo hai. <laughs> Good, bad or ugly. <laughs> Good, bad or ugly. She's direct. She's direct. And I think that's something that I respect. At that time, I didn't know her. Now, over the last four years that we've been working together, it's been mm. something which I've begun to understand and hugely respect. So I think that's been, I think we've actually in a way, um, you, and obviously, sometimes she says it like, you know, sort of straight at you. And then I have to be, uh, I, I have to be very graceful. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm saying, Amita, what the hell? <laughs> no. And the next thing we know, Amita is like, hi, Sush, I'm landing at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> because she's the Lakshmi. She steps foot and everything is, yeah, get go. No, so, so it was it was quite a first meeting. It was a meeting which uh, I'm very happy that she said yes. I don't have the power to green light anything. She has the power to green light. So for her to turn around and say that you know it's, I'm so happy that she manifested. Can you manifest more with like you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have been. I am okay. manifesting with you for a while. <laughs> I also have been manifesting. Let me tell you quickly. A love story that he has to direct mm -hmm. with me in it. Let's be very clear on that one. With you me, heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, he's such a sensitive director. Such Thank a you. sensitive director that so he much. needs to delve deep into romance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You also refer to yourself as an eight quadrant director. Someone that can tap into male, female, north, south, young, old, India and international. And truth be told, there aren't many Indian shows that have successfully managed to get into their third season, the way Arya has. So what is the trick behind being an eight quadrant director? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is going to be a very long answer. So anybody well, who... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Listening. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know, after I made Neerja and we were at the film fair and there was some award that happened and then a man I'd never spoken to in my life came up to me and his name is Suraj Barjatia. <laughs> and he said, uh, uh, Ramji, Namaste, I have seen your picture two times. The other time I have seen my family. And I want to say one thing. It's very few people who make a picture for the family. Please, make a picture for the family. Whatever you do, do it for the family. Ke liye karna. And Nirja was for the family. Ke liye thi. And this affected me because I 
do come from a joint family. I believe in family. And I think that I want to reach out. I think TVs are not in bedrooms, they're in living rooms. Bedrooms are, you know, TVs are in bedrooms in cities, but otherwise in most places that we go to, uh, Lucknow, Indore, where a lot of our family is, uh, the TV is in the living room. Now, you don't want, that means Dadaji is walking in, the nephews are walking mm. in, Mossy is walking, everybody is walking in and out. Mm. And you want to make sure that the value system that you put out is something that actually reaches out to the families. So I'm very interested in um, more than uh, 30 million people and 20, <laughs> I, I want to reach out to 800 million people. Uh, so <laughs> He actually refers to his job as the director as being in the business of feelings because yeah. you say that it is your job to anticipate what we feel when we are watching your yeah. show. Why is that so important for a director to do? Well, you know, again, I'm sorry, I'm going to take a little time, guys, on We're this. We're here uh, for you. Yeah. Um, so, I did a course in Indian aesthetics at, the, at Bombay University because I was worried about, uh, you know, not knowing enough about Natya Shastra and where we come from. And then I also went to New York. I have a teacher friend called Malia Scotch Marmo who teaches screenwriting at Columbia University. So I went and spoke to her and I, I tried to see how I can balance uh, an Indian way of telling and a Western way of telling. Okay, because otherwise what happens is you get, uh, how shall I say, culturally colonized. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Yeah. yeah, and that cultural colonization means that yeah. you have to follow the three-act structure and you have to do it in this way. And, yeah. and before you know it, all stories are the same. Okay, because then you're, there's a certain pre predictability to that. Mm. And so I said, I must also understand I mean, this is sounding like very Pakao, guys. I'm sorry. I, you know from my work, I'm not going to be Pakao. I will move you. But from the <laughs> conversation, I am Pakao. Okay. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to learn about the Rasa mm. theory. Uh, mm. And so what is this Navras? And what is it that really, I mean, why did, how did they evolve a articulated system mm. about how to make you feel? Wow. Which is very different from a three-act structure because there are two systems over here. The Western system is going to give you, let's say, Marilyn Monroe's bones. It tells you the skeleton, mm. but you yet have to make Marilyn Monroe. But the Eastern system is actually telling you everything but the bones. <laughs> it's giving you all the feeling. Mm. And so these two sort of lessons uh, have helped me to, you know, sort of get to a, a ras where I can now say, hey, ye ras hona and I'm interested in tragedy. Mm. And Arya, we know, yeah, we know. You know so, <laughs> Arya is a tragedy. I, I think that there are. We all come to practice in the morning. Arya is, is a tragedy. <laughs> Though we do a lot of laughing off camera, there's a lot of humor on set. But when we're shooting, uh, I think, you know, apart from the action hero and the comic hero, the hero that we have lost is the tragic hero. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's Dilip Kumar was the tragic hero at one time and Meena Kumari was the tragic oh. hero. Mm -hmm. And now we have Shushmita Sena's Arya, who is also going to be the tragic hero. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so season 3.2 <laughs> tells you what happens uh, in terms of sacrifices. And here is a lady who is going to uh, be at the receiving end of uh, the price that she has to pay. Mm -hmm. And that's my value system again. If you're going to do bad shit, you're going to pay get, for it. You're going to pay for it. Consequences. And the consequences, exactly. And that is what is going to happen in season 3.2. She is going to pay for it. Yeah. No, but what really amazes me about OTT is also the ability to listen to the talkback and the feedback. As makers, as actors, uh, how much do you find yourself uh, taking that in? And do you get the opportunity to make something of that feedback? So, first I have to tell you my pet peeve, okay? Mm -hmm. Which uh, Sushmita has also been at the receiving end of. My hmm. pet peeve is when somebody tells me, they hmm. aap audience ke se <laughs> okay. And yeah, I turn around that. and say, excuse me, to main kon hu bhai? <laughs> you know? And who are you to tell me? That means you have already put yourself on a pedestal. Huh? Mm. Means up audience ke sabte, main to audience ke sabte dekh rahi hu. Achha. So what is that? I mean, that means you have put yourself on a pedestal of being the audience. So how that has been something which you know, and I've been at the receiving end of that sometimes, and I get deeply upset. I, I would like to respond to this. <laughs> Very important. You see, everybody 
other than the director of the film or the show can be objective. Everybody. But if you are the one creating it, yes, we are the audience. Shushmita Sen is the audience. Huh? Yes. <laughs> we are the audience. Then why are I you really, the audience? <laughs> like I seriously, like I watch everything like an audience, even my own work. <laughs> can you do that? I can do that. I'm very detached. Why can't I do that? We have, <laughs> I'm not kidding, we had eight episodes. Listen, this is sounding like you and Rene, okay? No, no, but it's eight, eight, eight episodes of Kali. Yeah. Six remained. That's how objective. It's a, not, not an attachment to what you have put in. It's an attachment to the final thing. Mm -hmm. That's it. That is the only attachment for me. Sure. But are you listening to feedback and has yes, it tweaked yes. your process so, so in the I, season? I like the word detached attachment. Mm. Uh, I like the word humbly arrogant. Uh, <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but on, on the, uh, yes, we have. Uh, I also come from advertising, as people know. Of course. And so I like market research. Uh, I value what people are going to say. And uh, at the end of season one, uh, they said, it's a little slower than we wanted. So my first episode of season two was 30 minutes. So I sent it to Disney Plus Hotstar and uh, they said, what's wrong with you? How can you make it 30 minutes? Please at least make it 40. I said, but like, lower ne bola, jaldi, like fast karo, fast pace karo. So I made it like really fast. They said, no, 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 no. Arya is also slow and you know, it's got remotions and all that. So then thankfully we made, came to a balance. Then in season two, they said, Arya, you know, jab Arya bhakti hai, she's becoming weak, yeah. <laughs> so you should not make her weak, you know, because audience wants Arya to be strong because Shushmita Sen is strong, you know, and they want her to be badass. So I said, Acha, isa hai. So okay, season three, maybe we'll make her badass. Now we made her badass in 3.1. Now they're saying, Are yaar, you know, please, yeah, she's becoming too badass. Can you please make her more emotional? <laughs> Did anybody say it's too badass? No, right? Conviction ke saad bolo? No. Another thing that uh, we now know that Ram Madhwani doesn't say on his set is the word action. Instead, you say, no, there's actually, a lot you have to know about him. Yeah. He's got very systematically figured out, actors ko khush rakho. Hospitality, I don't think you've ever seen in your lives. Mm. You have to experience a Ram Madhwani film's <laughs> hospitality on no, set. Thank you for that. That's a huge round of applause for Meeta Madhwani. <laughs> we have... We don't take rooms in a hotel. We block the whole palace. Uske beach mein jo ek angan hota hai, waha par tents lagte hai. Roz shadi wala buffet lagte hai. Sare actors, directors, sab milke waha par apne din ki discussion karte hai because sab apne family se dura hai hoi. You bond in a way that you feel like you are kings. Then next morning, labor class, back to set, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they've figured out so many things that, you know, action is actually the smallest thing. Okay. They have figured out how to get the best out of people in a creative way. Thank you. And that. that's Sweet. commendable because I haven't seen that. And they have a tendency of spoiling every actor that has worked with them. Mm -hmm. Because then they go to another set and they're like, Amita, <laughs> I'm shoot kab kar rahe wapis. <laughs> You know what we say in, uh, we say we don't organize a shoot, we host a shoot. Oh, I think anybody can organize a shoot. And that's one too. The reason I don't say action, where's Carl? Who's, who's your, who you're waving at? Yeah. Uh, uh, our whole team Anna's is here. Anna's here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ria's here. So, Ria's here, yeah. Um, so, you don't say action. I don't say action. I don't say cut. I don't say, uh, like, those are words, like, you know, when, even before this, we were at one of the press kind of junket kind of things. And the people who are shooting us will always say, uh, silence! <laughs> uh, and like, how do you, why do you, why would you say that? Uh, because what happens is as soon as even you say the word action, it changes the molecules in your body. And you say, you say, action! And you know, you're suddenly saying, are yaar, shooting ho raha yaar, better, like, you know. And my entire, like, all my molecules have started shifting in a different way. Yeah. So I, I just, like, I'm normally giving a sign. Or there was one of our directors, you know, Dravat, who put into practice, who said, uh, go when your heart says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that is really what, uh, like everybody, all 300 people should know. Except yeah. that we as actors know, go when your heart says means, ek, do, chalo. Nee, but like no, you but can't like just yeah. go when your heart, doesn't not mean that. 
but at the same time it is something which allows you to relax yeah. and give you that breath otherwise in the earlier days like i don't even have clap you know oh. so there's none of that and uh, so all 300 people should know when the camera is rolling uh and i'm not going to say roll camera i'm not going to say silence i'm not going to say action i'm not going to say cut <laughs> and there's no chaos on this set oh like, none it's not even allowed like it's not just the directors nobody's allowed to speak in high volume aaram se baat karo ye acha light phat gaya aaram se wait ek minute light to hai nahi ye light to hai hi nahi ha wo bhi to hai problem arya mein aapne dekha hai hum actors स्ट्रीट लैम्प हो या घर में एक छोटा सा बल्ब जल रहा हो सेट पे हम सारे एक्टर्स घुस के वहीं पे सीन करते हैं क्योंकि हमें लाइट्स दी नहीं जाती हैं बिकॉज यू नेचुरल रात का फील सो वी आर ऑल स्ट्रगलिंग फॉर लाइट एनी वे सो द जोक इज दैट जो भी करना है वॉट एवर द क्राइसिस वील डील विथ इट एंड या वॉट अ टीम टू वर्क विथ देर आर क्राइसिस क्राइसिस थैंक यू You know, the no, only I, yeah. show in my life, any work commitment, not just a show, any film, anything, in which I have not had a single member of managerial team on the set. It's been managed by the RMF family, <laughs> by the entire team. This never happens. Yeah, that's saying something. Never happens. You know yeah, yeah. But I feel that the way that people work is with the handcuffs of the industrial processes of filmmaking. and we should stop that because that comes in the way of what i'm here for which is to be in the service of my actor yeah. <laughs> he says that always i'm here and he is still saying that you know he's a director here but when we are filming he will always say i am just a floor manager <laughs> he will walk around behind the camera like a shadow you won't even know he's there he's so quiet and then he'll say वो थोड़ा सा कुछ सुनाई देता है बस या आई डोंट लाइक बीइंग एट द वीडियो असिस्टेंट या ही इज नेवर देयर आई एम विद माय डीओपीज एंड दिस टाइम वी हैड टू फीमेल डीओपीज काव्या एंड प्रियंका या एंड दे हैव बीन लाइक दे आर लाइक इनक्रेडिबल आई मीन मोस्ट ऑफ माय टीम इज वुमेन थैंक गॉड या थैंक गॉड and look at the magic that they can create and इट्स आल्सो प्रूफ ऑफ व्हाट यू कैन अचीव व्हेन द हैंडकफ्स आर रिमूव्ड यस वेल सेड Yeah, because I feel that if your if your quest is to get to some truth and reality, then you that's what you need to have the freedom to allow. Uh, and so I'm here to capture that energy. I'm here to, uh, how shall I say, like because you see animals. I mean, actors are actually wild animals. Okay, they are wild in animals. the nicest okay. possible way. The, and they're shernies. They're shernies. So to can to we capture, discuss this later? Yeah. Okay. Listen. At least I didn't say actors are cat, <laughs> uh, cattle. <laughs> the wild animals that you have to you know sort of you Aim. have to yeah you know you have to circle them and then you have to basically cajole and coax and unobserved without them knowing you you're meant to cage them and they should not even know it you're letting out all your secrets <laughs> <laughs> oh but we know when we are caged <laughs> we know <laughs> well this i tell you can you imagine this banter and making a series through it all Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing about this lady on my left here. She is very courageous. She, uh, like, when I give her the opportunity to jump off, she jumps, and she doesn't even know that there's going to be a safety net, but she has that. I crush. think she does. <laughs> I, I know I do. I, I know I do. But most importantly, I. You wait for that. You wait for him to say jump. <laughs> because that's when you know something will come because this is not a rehearsed system there are no rehearsals huh before a take you're not allowed to read the lines of your scene and udhar na hawk ki tarah 10 log dekhte rehte hain set pe ki do actors kyun baat kar rahe hain alag karo aise hota hai no no i'm serious so you can't even tell each other to aise mat bolna aise bolna aise bhi nahi kar sakte matlab you can't do anything So because then, because I don't do rehearsals because in life there's no take two, so you either get it and take one, and you you create the the entire sort of um, way in which you can surround the actor with the environment to give that. Correct. Yeah. And so therefore, this is the system in which you are stuck. You've now been spoiled. <laughs> yeah. No, we are stuck. No, we are all seriously stuck. 
because we just know that given an opportunity, if he says jump, and he doesn't say that for every scene, so for certain moments he says jump, and you know that you don't know what you're going to do, except jump. And then the magic happens. And it has happened every, every single time, time he she said She just jump. lands. She lands. No, I land because of <laughs> knowing that. Yeah. No, but she, the nice thing is that when you see her, she does, she's not scared about actually, you know, and in a way that's, that's lovely because some actors would, you know, sort of hold, she just, there's one scene which, spoiler alert, which is going to come Shows up. Your ears yeah, in 3.2, which is... I was waiting No, there is one scene where uh, I said, you know, I have to give Shushmita Sen a drunk scene. Okay, we've seen great drunk scenes in the history of cinema. And I want to give this actress a drunk scene. Okay, because... And so I gave her and we wrote it and I said this and then... I said, now jump. <laughs> yeah. And she's landed. You have to see that scene. She's really done. So watch out, guys, for. <laughs> Aditi, why is he allowed to say all this? I, this? And my briefing says I can't talk about it. They, uh, okay, this is going to get cut. <laughs> <laughs> There's this a director. This is going to get, get cut. cut. No, no, it was nice. It was very nice, yeah. actually. I, I am also looking forward to seeing that scene. Can't wait. And before I open it up to the mm. audience, I'm going to just shift gears a little bit because I want to ask the two of you about your mental and physical health because God knows you've had quite the year. Yep. And I've also heard you say this wonderful thing about how you take a two-week health holiday every year. Very jealous I am. I feel like there's a tip or two for all of us here. What do you do for your mental and your physical health? You go first. Okay, so I think over the last 10 years, uh, Amita and me have decided that we would take different <coughs> kinds of holidays. Uh, okay. So you'd need a holiday with your friends and that's normally very indulgent. One of my friends, Bunty, is over here. Uh, and, uh, you know, with Bunty and Poonam who are... Uh, I call them my public, by the way. Okay, so whenever I want an opinion about what I'm doing, I call Bunty and I say, Bunty, kaise laga? Theek laga hai, nahi laga. <laughs> so, uh, this is my public. Okay, so. Your uh, audience? This is my audience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, with my friends, it's obviously a different kind of holiday, but, or with the family, it's a different kind of holiday. But the health holiday means you go for a detox. So, I normally go to some Ayurvedic center. And so that helps the. Because I can't lead a disciplined life. And I don't know how other people do it in this business of ours. I also don't know. Yeah. And we can't. I mean, so you need to have a health holiday. So that's one thing. And the other thing that I do every morning is that I do have a meditation teacher. Uh, okay. And uh, who's in my Ayurvedic doctor, whose name is Dr. Sharender Chobe. And he comes and he's there most days. And I'm for half an hour to 40 minutes every day. Either I'm doing some breathing or I'm doing some kind of meditation. Uh, I don't think it helps, so says my team. <laughs> you should meditate for two hours. <laughs> Half an hour is not helping your impatience, Ram. <laughs> we insist. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know. So I train. Um, I listen to music. I have the most amazing playlist, if you guys are ever interested. Um, I travel. And I detox from people. Wow. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's not possible to always be surrounded by energies that are a great fit. Sometimes they're not. But you have to coexist. You can't always be running away from, this energy doesn't work for me. You can't work like that. So you're surrounded by that many a time. So that I just go detox from people. I usually do this in Europe, away. But I have discovered a couple of places in India where I am going to just be the third wheel with both of them next time they go. Um, and uh, I like the idea of Can Shushmita, Shushmita Sen walk the streets I and can. be allowed to? Uh, no, nobody has to disallow. I will walk the streets. <laughs> In fact, I make more friends when I walk the streets. You know, uh, any envy that there might be, it's the slightest of it when you are in your car. The minute you step out of it, it's gone. So I like walking the streets. But you know, this is this is a lady who, you know, sometimes the obligations <clears throat> of stardom and mm -hmm. the obligations of fame, um, for her, those are not obligations. And to, because we've seen people who treat it as an obligation, as a responsibility, as a duty. For her, it's something that she is genuinely, and like you said, you know, when she walks into a room, 
and I've had that happen to me. And I'm like, obviously, all the time I'm observing it. I'm saying, <laughs> energy shifted. Shushmita Sen has walked into the room. <laughs> <laughs> there may be 200 people in the room. Where did something happen? Ah, Shushmita Sen came. So I think that that is something which, this is something which I've seen her with, the, the, whether it's the chef or the person who's like waiting at your table. And I've seen her interact with these people. And there is no obligation of fame. <laughs> yeah. She wears it so lightly. Yeah. No, I wear it as a job. I'm very clear this is my job. Like, this is your job. What all do you guys do? <laughs> what do you guys do? I know you guys want to listen to everything we have to say, then you yeah. to also share. What do you do? Doctor. Doctor? Student. CA. Oh, student. CA. CA. Phone <laughs> number. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you guys, this is your job. Being an actor is my job, and my job is also, it's funny, being famous is also my job, uh, because that's what is a side effect of being an actor. That's the beauty. Once you are aware that this is the job, and this is who you are, and they are not, how do you put it? Uh, they can coexist, or they are not separate, or they are not... Uh, uh, one minute, I'll just give you three yeah, more lines. Yeah, please, please, please like, <laughs> sir, you need to direct this better, like, <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> you can't find that exact word, word that you want for it. Never the mind. We didn't think it happens to you, though. <laughs> no, it does, it does, it does. It, ha it happens to me a lot. And I have learned how to make it look like, never mind, and moving on. But I, I, I hunt for words very often. And I'm very attached to certain words. Mm -hmm. So if I want that, I want that, that word. <laughs> Yeah, but it is now actually your job to ask them some questions. So I'm going to pass on a mic. Just wait for your turn. You can yes, stand Daniel. up and ask your questions. Yes, come, 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 come. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much. What is your name? Jinal. Jinal. CA. Yeah. Private practice or you're working no, with No, working with my phone. Deloitte. Number? <laughs> Lilina? Deloid. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yes. <laughs> <Be honest. laughs> Jeez. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi. My name is Nitesh. Hi. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, join, join the gang. <laughs> you can, you can sit right here. <laughs> okay, ma'am. This is uh, about Arya, but uh, I have been a fan since '90s. I remember watching. The movie Zor, I don't know if you remember. There was a Do movie I remember <laughs> Zor? Um, let me see. Uh, I, 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 I saw remember. Zor because of the song Mekudi and Jan. Which was the yeah. top hit in that. Thank that you. Era. Thank you so Mehuna much. Mehuna was again somewhere. I mean, I would really like to have my Chan Mera Jan moment with you if I can. <laughs> <laughs> oof. Oof. I mean, I don't I, know if I'm yeah. too nervous to forget that. Okay. <laughs> we'll get the background score ready and then you can go for it. <laughs> okay. My question is yeah. as an actor yeah how do you what is your go-to way to divest out of a role that you are doing like mm. uh, what is the way you follow when you are into a role how do you not get emotionally attached to what you're playing how do you get out of it when you are sushmita sen when you're not playing the role or does it stay oh, in you uh thank you for the question and the compliments <laughs> um when we i when i do uh, Depends. Arya's system exhausts you so much on the set itself. This is my 25 to 45 minute takes. That it is easy to leave her behind. Sometimes it's exhausting emotionally. So you want to breathe and leave her behind. Arya is a very, very emotional show. It has a lot of sub layers of emotions running parallel with other people's lives. Um, there are certain uh, shows or, or films where you're deeply hurt by something. And I remember this distinctly being a part of Chingari, a film I'd done many, many years ago. I consider myself a strong woman. I consider myself a woman with a voice. That character and the way that I was spoken to and behaved with, I was very 
कि मैं मानने को तैयार नहीं कि ये किसी के साथ होता होगा बिकॉज मेरी रूह में दर्द हो रही है टू लाइक वॉच दैट एंड टू एक्सपीरियंस दैट लाइक दैट समटाइम्स थिंग्स हैव अ वेरी डीप रूटेड प्रॉब्लम सो वट आई हैव टू डू इज सिंपली do what mr mongya also reiterates the teacher um even uh ravat my director and teacher has taught me many times is breathe 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 because that's the only way to come back to the present moment be aware of your breathing so we use that as a technique when we get into a scene relax yourself and how to get out of a character it helps it needs work sometimes not always sometimes it's easy to come out of thank except, you except except the gun that she carries in her bag that she keeps yeah <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you they have real bullets in them <laughs> he always does this you know he always does this in every interview you see how much fun it's adorable <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i have two requests from the both of you the first one is a question aimed at the both of you uh i often consider a uh, wonder myself that how do you recognize which people are real with you or which people are just there with you for your to be attached with your fame or your talent yeah, this is a very <laughs> hard question for you come on no this is for you no he <laughs> she said for both of us so we both have to answer It is a very good question. It's It is a, a very question. good question. Um I'm not a good reader of people. So I just take people at at face value. Mm-hmm. I just say um I trust you. And then maybe a year, two years, three years, five years later is when I said, "Oh man, <laughs> what happened over here?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, main ulti hu. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't trust easily. Mm-hmm. Um and I think being a single woman, uh I am very aware of who I trust also. Yeah. Uh yeah. which is how I protect myself. Yeah. So, I don't trust easily. But when I trust it's so khun maaf hai fir. Uh galtiyan bhi maaf hai, betrayal bhi maaf hai, sab maaf hai because I put my faith in you. Yes. So I don't do that easily, like I said. But when I do it, zindagi bhar nibhati hu. That's very appreciative. Can you both trust me with a picture? Right after we're done, I promise. Oh, kya mas? That was brilliant. <laughs> like, did he come prepared with this? Mass media student. <laughs> oh, no wonder. Thank, Thank you so much. much. We absolutely cannot wait to watch Arya 3.2 on Disney Plus Hotstar. Thank And you. thank you for this conversation. Thank you so much. Uh, always wonderful. such a pleasure to I speak know. with her. I know. I know. How she's how she's got not a single question which she's looked at. <laughs> she's like. sort of been made it a conversation she's prepared it Thank all you. and i was like watching her from like you know down when you're speaking to shushmita like very well actually handled in terms of just the casual chit chat of it and yet with a solid amount of preparation <laughs> shows how much i cherish yeah. this moment so thank you so much